because everyone across the country are looking for these PPEs. It's making, um, uh, and we just can't rely on the shipment that we're getting from FEMA. Uh, the city of Houston, like others, are going to the private marketplace. And I will tell you, it becomes a bidding war on the private marketplace. Because what is happening, for example, we had a shipment, um, we, well, we had uh, entered into an agreement uh, to purchase a number of PPEs, a large quantity, for example, at $4. And then we were notified, for example, today, uh, that someone had bid it more uh, than that, and they were not going to follow through or honor that agreement. Uh, and so we've had to go to another a potential supplier, uh, and it does it doesn't come, uh, and it becomes very costly. So to give you an example, we have now put forth another request uh, for PPEs, the N95 mask, uh, at a, at a cost of about two million dollars alone, uh, and these masks are costing us about five dollars and fifty six cents a piece. Uh, and we are hoping that that agreement, our understanding, will be followed through and people want to be paid up front, okay? This is not where they are saying, you know, uh, send us a small deposit and then when you get your supply, they want to be paid up front. But the reality is because there's such a demand uh, for this equipment and we need them for our first responders and so many others, uh, we're having to pay more because we're having to go to the private marketplace. And in order to, to make sure that we can acquire the, the supplies as quickly as possible, uh, I've given instructions to my finance department. We're going to, and uh, we'll of course to seek approval from the city council, and I see council member Tiffany Thomas. Uh, we're going to be pulling $5 million from our economic stabilization fund uh, in order to, uh, to do several things, to make sure that we're able to purchase the supplies when they are available so we can get right on it and, and, uh, and purchase when we find them. That's number one. And number two, in order to close the deal with respect to the uh, two hotels that we are leasing uh, for uh, our employees who may have to be quarantined and do not have another place to go, can go home, for example, uh, for the homeless population and others uh, that will be needed. And so we need to move forward on those agreements. And so we are going to be uh, pulling $5 million from our economic stabilization fund so that we can move ahead and try to make sure that we put the city of Houston in the best position uh, to be prepared uh, as we confront the corona, coronavirus.